Oh, hello. And welcome back to the Evergreen Cultural Center's online performing arts workshop. My name is Mandy Tullock, and this is McKenna Rand. So this is our third in our three-part series for our junior acting classes. Now this one, we're gonna be talking a lot about developing our characters. So the very first work that we're gonna do is a walk. How do you walk? So McKenna, let's walk around in a circle right now. So I'm walking around as Mandy and McKenna is McKenna, right? We can all walk, but we can learn something from our characters walk. So let me show you something you can do at home with everybody. It's a lot of fun. Let's go over to this side. So get to the furthest part on the side in your house where you are. And I want you to choose your nose. So everybody put your hands on your, no, no, no. Not up your nose, on your nose. There we go, thank you. So there's your nose. Now put your nose out in front. Your nose has to walk first. It has to be the first thing when we walk across in front of you. So all I want you to do right now is walk across and I'm gonna, McKenna's gonna do it and I'm gonna show you. There's her nose, go McKenna. So only then, oh, bring it out further. You don't want those toes in front, bring it out further. And you see how I was pushing her to go a little bit further out? Now, so now she's figured out that she has to come this, this far out with her nose. I want you to start thinking about how it makes you feel. What kind of a character do you feel when you're walking like this? So McKenna's gonna go across, and I think I'm gonna do it with her. So here we go, and we're gonna feel our character. You ready? And go. So I'm getting a feeling, I'm kind of loose. If you see my hands are coming out, and I'm thinking this is my monkey. I'm going to be a monkey as I go across. And I'm feeling that way, okay. So McKenna, how did it make you feel? I felt sort of like an investigator, somebody who was Ooh. looking around the scene. Okay, so let's work that, let's build that. So now we're on our three times walk across, and we've decided that our nose is going first, that we feel like an investigator. So what other changes would you do to your walk to become an investigator? So let's try it. McKenna, you go across. And so remember, she's an investigator. And look, yeah, go. So she's, what else? Oh, she's looking around. She has her hands behind her back. And she's kind of, yeah, you got it. All right, excellent. Now let's try, show you how this, how well this works. You have to make your belly button go first. So we are gonna have to push our bellies out really far. Make sure that nose doesn't come over the belly. You ready, McKenna? So here's her belly button, go. So McKenna, and I'm gonna be right behind her. My belly's going out first. Make sure those knees don't go out. And we're walking across with our bellies out. Now I already started talking deeper. It made me wanna talk like this for some reason. So McKenna, you go first and I'll go after you. Try to find your character. Okay, off you go. So the belly's out, and there's gonna be some kind of a character. Watch those hands, McKenna, make sure those hands, there we go. Drop your hands back. And if I go across, I'm going across. But with me, I wanna swing the arms. I kinda of have this feeling that I wanna swing it. Okay, so McKenna, who did you feel like? I felt like someone who didn't want to go where they were going. Oh, so maybe, Maybe, uh, what, a little girl going out and not wanting to go? Yeah. So let's, let's create that. So belly button comes out, and having maybe a bit of a temper tantrum and not wanting to go, go. See, and she's, watch those knees, don't put those knees out. Yeah, we're kind of slant. Now for me, I don't know. I kind of felt like I was, I don't know, maybe I was a big high court judge but I was like taking up space and I'm maybe a little, and I'm walking across like, yeah. That's like a, a really, really strong character. So toes, your toes have to go first. So let's walk across with your toes. All right, now pay attention as you're walking across. How does that make you guys feel? Point those toes and hey. All right, so now come across and try to find your character, McKenna. So. Yeah, so who does this make you feel like? Or maybe it's a, um, a job you have. I don't know, what, do you, what does it make you feel like? A tightrope walker. Oh, good one. So now imagine the tightrope and put in the rest of your body language, making sure those toes go first. 
Go. Walking that tightrope, it's very dangerous. So, yes, and you're, and, oh, beautiful. Walking across, excellent. Really good. So you can show or find characters, maybe you have to play a puppy. And you're like, well, I don't know how to be a puppy. Try doing the walk. Is there a walk that makes you feel like a puppy? Maybe if, um, maybe if it was your tongue that had to come out and you're like, maybe that makes you feel like a puppy. So you can find those characters that you can't always come up with right away by using your walk. So on developing your character, we're going to play a little bit with our tones, how we speak. Because we can say, hello, how are you? Or we can say, hello, how are you? Or we can say, hello, ah, how are you? And how we say the words changes how we mean to say it. Like, what is it that we're trying to get across? We can use those tones and those, I like to call them peaks and valleys. We can go up and down. We can show we're angry. So we're going to use something that is really easy and you can all do it at home. Face a partner. And I can only say one, two, three, four, five. McKenna can only say six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. And we're going to be meeting at the airport for the first time. So let's see if you can figure out if we know each other. Do we know who we are? So are you ready? And uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Did we know each other? Okay, we didn't. We were very apprehensive. One, two, three, four, five. You noticed that the words kind of were really kind of sharp, like a staccato, and hesitant. So now let's try it another time. Do we know each other? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did we know each other? You bet we knew each other. We were so excited to see each other. It was great. We can play this in a different type of way as well. We could be, let's try this one. We're going to be robots. OK. See how this goes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We were robots. That was our impression. Okay, I got another one. I'm gonna be the Queen of England. Okay. And you're gonna be, who do you wanna be? You wanna be the king? Sure. Well, technically there isn't a king. It's Prince Philip, <laughs> but. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's very good, wasn't it? That was my English accent. And uh, if you notice, the wave was there as well. So maybe your king and queen could be very, very one, two, three, four, five. Or maybe it can be a little softer. It's up to you. You decide. Now, another thing we've got, have a seat. We can go crisscross apples also, sit on a chair. Sometimes we get tongue tied or we don't know what to say. We're trying to find our character and develop the character, but we haven't learned our lines yet. And um, we're falling over ourselves trying to remember. And yet we want to get the posture, how we sit, how we walk. We want to figure out the relationship with the person in our scene. We can play it with gibberish, which means you don't have to remember any words at all. It's great. It's one of my favorite exercises because you can never get it wrong. But you do have to have your character. So this is, remember, this is what we're working on. So we're going to give you a scene, and you have to decide how are we happy, are we sad, are we angry? And we can't tell you any words because you won't understand what we're saying. So let's see how this goes. Um, and McKenna doesn't know what I'm going to do, and she's going to have to follow me. So you ready? Were we, were we happy or were we sad? I think we were, I, I was definitely, I was definitely telling her off. 
Okay? All right, let's try another one. Okay. And chi chi cha pa pa chi chi pa. Chi chi pa 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 pa. Ba. Ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba da. <laughs> okay, I was trying to show her how to do something, and I, she was showing me and correcting me, and I finally got it. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. So now we're going to do another one, and I'm going to walk in on this scene, and let's see if you can figure out where we are. I'm going to whisper to McKenna, because McKenna doesn't know where we are. So, you know, put your hands over your ears. <laughs> You're not allowed to hear this. Okay, we'll be... Did you hear that? Oh, no, you didn't. Okay, here we go. Okay, where were we? Yes, we were at my friend the dentist. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple of ways that you can work on your character without having to worry about a lot of the words. You can use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or you can use gibberish. Okay, so we've done our walks, we've done our words. We'll meet you at the next section. Okay, so Mandy, yeah. I have a question. Yeah. So how do you feel in those shoes? <laughs> you guys know I love my flip-flops. Okay, um, but how would you feel if you were in these shoes? Well, I would feel different. Um, okay, so if I was a character walking on a beach, mm -hmm. all right, if I was in flip-flops, and I'm walking across, I'm gonna be really comfortable. I might even wanna take my shoes off ah. with my flip flops and feel the sand. Isn't that nice? Oh, I can totally feel the sand with my toes. And I'm, this is so comfortable, this is great. I'm very happy to be on the beach like this. And my body is really relaxed. Okay, but if I put these shoes on, mm -hmm. I don't even know if these will fit me, these are, totally a different type of shoe, right? So, oh, look at this. My back completely changes from the height of the shoe. And it's making me feel different. And I almost feel like I'm walking on a runway. I've got high heel shoes on. My body changes, my back changes. And if I was walking on the beach, mm -hmm. I don't think that these shoes would do a really good job on the beach. They, my heel would keep getting stuck in the sand. And it's like, yeah, I think I definitely want to take these off. Mm -hmm. So when you're walking around, what shoes do you have, McKenna? I have some of my favorite chunky sneakers. Okay, so how do you feel when you walk? Pretend you're walking on the beach. Um, I definitely feel like I'd be in the wrong shoes to be on the beach, because I feel the sand getting in my shoes. Yeah. But I also feel like if I was walking around. So wait, let's work on that. You're having a scene where you're on the beach mm -hmm. and you're following somebody and the sand gets in your shoe. What is that character gonna have to do? Probably. Well, if I'm following them, I'd have to stop and probably take off Exactly. My shoe. Yeah, and, and rinse the sand out. So you've now developed something different in that character and the way they walk with the shoes that they're wearing. So when you decide in um, your characters in your stories that you're working on at home, try doing it with different shoes on. Try doing it with boots on, with running shoes on, um, and see how it makes you walk and feel when you're doing your scene. That's, that's a really good one to do, okay? All right, moving on. Okay, so Mandy, yeah. we've worked so much on our character development now. Yes. But how can we use that in a scene with high status and low status? Oh, okay. Um, how to put that into your character and make it work for you? Okay, uh, let's do our window washer scene. I love this. It, it really shows the difference between high status and low status really well. 
So, um, okay, let's stand up. Uh, McKenna, can you be the window washer? Yep. And can you show me where your window is? Okay, so it's that high, that wide. Okay, great. Now, it, is it taking up space or is it in your head? It is taking up space. Okay, so when something takes up space, McKenna can't walk through that poof, because there's a window there. So we have to be aware of what takes up space. It's not just in her head. We now have a window. So if you're going to be a high status window cleaner, McKenna, can you give me a movement that shows me you washing your window? Good. So a high status window cleaner is going to take big, strong moves. Yes, very proud, taking up space. And you don't have to go fast because the world waits for you. You know what you're doing. You are the Picasso of window cleaners. And you know it. The world has now designated you the best window cleaner in the world. Now, I'm going to play your boss. So I'm actually in charge of the window cleaner. But wait, I'm low status, not high status. So my character is going to move differently. So my character is going to come on and ask a question and then go off. Let's see how this plays. All right, are you ready, McKenna? Mm -hmm. um, hi, <laughs> um, I'm your boss. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, um, are you happy with your employment here? Yes. I mean, look at this. Oh, oh, it's oh yes, it's wonderful. It's great. It's really good. I really, I, I'm, wow, best cleaned window ever. Oh my goodness. I, 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 I'm just gonna go and um um I, I'm gonna get you um. Would you like a coffee? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I did. Oh. Okay. So now we're going to do exactly the same scene with basically the same dialogue. But now McKenna's going to be a low status window cleaner, and I'm going to be a high status boss. How does that change our characters? How does that change how we move and how the scene looks? OK? So remember, low status, very quick moves, not a lot of eye line. Um, you don't want to see that person. They might look at you. And you want to make yourself like that mouse, as small as can. Remember when we started our warm-ups and we did low status, high status? Remember, take up as little space as possible. Ready, McKenna? Yep. <clears throat> uh, so uh, how do you like your employment? Here. Great, fantastic, couldn't ask for more, absolutely brilliant, love it, thanks. Good, good. Uh, you missed a spot there. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, now, I know you're good at what you do, um, so I'd like to offer you a coffee. Would that be okay? Yeah, sure. Do, do you want me to go get the coffee? Uh, no, no, it's fine. Fine. You wait here. I'll go get it. OK, good. You see how that changes? How, how, that, how that personality changes to fit the status? Um, and we'll do it again. We'll do another one. And this is going to be our closing piece for the, for the third segment. Um, let's do our uh, Queen of England. And um, let's move this off so we can see it, because we need a throne. So we'll bring the throne up just a little bit. Um, uh, McKenna, would you like to be the queen? Absolutely. OK. So we have our queen. So even the queen of England can be low status. It doesn't matter what you are. The status will dictate your movements and um, how you will work with your other people on stage. So I'm going to be the lonely uh, juggler. I'll be like the clown in the court who's trying to get a vacation. So I'm going to be low status, and you can be high status. So remember. We are 
high status. Remember our moves. Remember how we, we go fast or slow. So here we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, hello. Hello. <laughs> your, 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 your great, oh, ow. Your, 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 your greatest majesty. Um, what I really want to, oh my gosh, I don't know how to ask for this. Um, is it possible, just, you know, just saying, just trying to get there, uh, that I could have uh, maybe uh, for the first time um, uh, a vacation? You want a vacation? How long? Just a little one, just, just really small, not, not a big deal. <laughs> you may have one afternoon. Oh, like, okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, your most royal highnessnessness. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we're <laughs> gonna do that where I'm the high status, even though I'm the clown and the juggler, and this is the Queen of England. So she's low status now. So are you ready? Yep. And go. <laughs> Hello there, uh, uh, your royal highness. Uh, hello? How may I help you? Well, um, I want a vacation, and I want a vacation now. Like right now? Yeah, right now, I'd like a vacation. I'd like three weeks all paid um, with uh, all my meals and accommodation. Is that okay? Well, three weeks is a bit... I really think I deserve it. Yep, yep, totally fine. You can. Why don't you take four weeks, and I'll, yeah, we'll cover everything. Don't worry about it. Great. Thank you. <laughs> so try now at home, pick your scenes that you want to play and try doing it very strong and big or very little and, and fast and scared and see how it changes. So goodbye from us for now and a big virtual hug out to you guys. We miss you terribly. The Evergreen Cultural Center wants to send out really good vibes to you and wash those hands, stay safe, watch your social distancing, and hopefully we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.